It's crazy. I've never had this many I'm orders in one day. They waited till March 27th, my birthday, to tell me I was not accepted, um, which broke my little heart. Wish I were lying when I told you right now that I am covered underneath of this in maxi pads. Overnight maxi pads and surgical tape. If you walked into a public restroom and you saw someone with like <laughs> oozing rash, like half naked, you would be concerned. And then I'm gonna be lurking in the corner like a little creature. <laughs> I just had a TikTok video get not, I mean, it's a lot of views, like 14,000 views. And normally a video like that would maybe convert to a couple sales. I've had like 12 orders already in the last like nine hours. So it's crazy. I've never had this many orders in one day. And I had a Boo Cup video get like 400,000 views. And that converted to around 30 sales. So I'm so curious how this one will do. The sucky part is I had just prepped it all for my markets. I have six days of markets in the next week and a half. A lot. Um, and all my strawberry bookmarks sold out. Which FYI, I don't think I told you guys this. I didn't get into the strawberry show, which is what I made the bookmarks for. But um, guess what? It doesn't matter. Strawberry bookmarks are selling. So... I need to run to the post office, ship the first batch out. I'm going to do the second batch tomorrow. I'll go ahead and film that for you guys. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to pop on here. Also, I have a lot, I have a lot to tell you, but um, Asher just woke up from his nap, so I've got to go get him. And we have to go to the post office because it is nearing the time when they close. So stay tuned for the huge update of not business related at all. <laughs> so yeah, it's not huge either. Why did I say huge? You'll see. Let's chat. Let's chat while I'm packing things because you know what? It has been a weird week with orders. Specifically, I made a TikTok video. It was just a normal video. I actually forgot to put some music over my packaging. Just packing up an order and it went like for me viral and that means like I think it's at 35,000 and this was like a, a video from a week ago and all of a sudden it just got a bunch of views. Um, and now a bunch of orders. So I thought I had completely stocked what I needed for the next two weeks. I have um, two three-day markets. Um, guess what? All of my bookmarks sold except for I have two different designs I don't have listed online. And the rest are gone. And so we're going into this market with like nothing. And I'm stressed, <laughs> but it's like a good stress because you want orders. I would love it if someday I could just thrive on a couple markets a year and then the rest on online orders. That's just not my life. Like I'm lucky to get one order every other week, you know? And so I was not prepared for this. <laughs> I'm very, very grateful, but I was not prepared. And I had to do some quick Amazon uh, purchases because I don't have enough boxes to ship out all the orders. So I'm good on timing. TikTok's really specific about how long you have, um, or should I say how little you have to ship stuff out. And I don't overstock on TikTok. I stock what I have. So um, I have all the products. It's just some of them I have to get extra packaging for. But I'm still going to be within their like, what's weird and what I don't quite understand, and I'm sure it's something that you're supposed to opt out of and I didn't, is that some orders have a like less than 24 hour turnaround time and some orders have four days. I don't know what rhyme and, re like, rhyme and rhythm or reason there is for that, <laughs> but 
but it's, it's just weird. All my orders that have been placed in the last two days, they all just range from um, urgent to non-urgent. So I'm assuming that's just like what shipping speed the buyer selected. I just feel like I should be able to have that processing time regardless, and I don't. Uh, not that I need it, like I'm fine, like I said, I have all the products. So I, what I did is just triage it. The <laughs> processing times that were less than 24 hours, I uh, went ahead and did those first. Even though it's like a few of the orders were put in before them, uh, but their processing time was longer. I think right now I'm at like 30 something orders, <laughs> which is crazy. I had, I'm going to butcher this name, Re or Rai or Ray, R-E-I. They ordered every single bookmark that I sell. Every single one of them. That was a hundred dollar order. I cannot even. So I went ahead and I made them a special name bookmark too, just to like say thank you because that's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, but the, the video that went viral was of my strawberry charms and I did not tell you, I, I told you yesterday, I made those bookmarks and those charms for a strawberry festival near me, one that I like went to growing up. Um, and on my birthday, <laughs> they did not know it was my birthday, the, so the application ended in like February 1st. They waited till March 27th, my birthday, <laughs> to tell me I was not accepted, um, which broke my little heart, but it's fine. Like, that's dramatic. It didn't actually break my heart. It's disappointing because I could be fun. I'll still probably go to the festival. Um, but they told me on that day that I wasn't there. And then now it's almost like a, mm, you missed out on they, they did because all of these are selling, which is awesome. And then I just placed an order for more. Uh, even though I have a lot right now, I just feel like if this video still gets views, I'm going to want more. So I, I made a very large order of specifically just the strawberry bookmark materials. So I should have enough for a couple hundred bookmarks from now. <laughs> and obviously what I'm doing right now is just creating these boxes because then we're going to start packing them and they're all going to go out in the morning tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, tomorrow is the day we have to set up for the eclipse market um i'm picking up my neighbor because like my actual neighbor because she has a uh, mama um, maternity like business and so i convinced her to do her first market i hope it does well for her our town and i don't know if they're being dramatic or not but they're saying we're supposed to get like fifty thousand. maybe it was twenty thousand. that's a pretty large difference We'll say 20,000 uh, visitors this weekend because we have, and I'm sure a lot of towns are saying this, we have the best like visible totality uh, viewing and we have a campground attached to our fairgrounds and so they're doing this huge eclipse event at the fairgrounds uh, and they invited vendors so that's why I'm there obviously. Uh, I have no idea. There's like a dog show happening. It's weird. There's a bunch of music. There's a bunch of like activities. I did not realize this until today, but it's an event you have to pay to get into, which in my experience in the past, I've done better at those events because you're there, you're paying, like you, you want to see everything because you paid for it. So that means they're for sure going to want to hopefully come into our area. Uh, yeah, so that's what's happening tomorrow's setup. I am not, like, I am not prepared at all, which is really making me nervous. But, like, you never know. I'm just a little nervous because I have this market Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then I have my one in Troy Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, like, we are back to back jammed in. And I need to have product. But I keep reminding myself, I'm going to be there. Um, I can make bookmarks and Stanley charms while I'm at the show. Like, I can work and be busy. As long as it's not crazy busy. And that's okay. And I do think clothing-wise, I'm not worried about that. Like, that's... Even though that's my big uh, money area, uh, I rarely get, like, a ton of clothing sales. So I think I should be good on 
all of that stuff. It's just, like I said, I want to do my charm bar. I have my first market to do the charm bar, and now my charm bar is looking very, like, very scarce. Is that the word, scarce? Um, what I really want to tell you guys, uh, listen, <laughs> I wish I were lying when I told you right now that I am covered underneath of this in maxi pads, overnight maxi pads and surgical tape. And you might be wondering why, <laughs> why? And that is because on Sunday, which was Easter, I was being a sweet, adorable, uh, loving wife that I am and decided um, because my mom came over that I would take the time and help my husband out in our yard, which our yard has been a <laughs> disgusting, overgrown jungle since we bought it. And we've slowly been trying to like rip stuff out. It is riddled in poison oak though. I am, I think 80% of the population is like very allergic to poison oak. I swear, I thought that I avoided all of it. And I was wearing long sleeves and pants. And let me tell you the fact that I have poison oak, the worst I've ever had it. I don't know if it's the same with allergic reactions where it gets worse every time you have it. It is like all over my arm. It is all down my leg. It is scattered around my everywhere, my neck, my right leg, like it is, I mean, the worst part is, so like my arm, like the whole forearm and the whole left thigh is one big, scabby, blistering, festering, oozing, how many nasty words can I give you? Seeping s swamp of just disgust that I have had to, I like every few hours, I have to switch out my like maxi pads. <laughs> and put new ones on. I've been rubbing it in Dawn dish soap every time in between changes. I've just never had it to where I had to have legit, like, thick gauze and surgical tape uh, in order to not get all over my house. Like, when it first started and I was not aware of what was going on and that that was going to happen, like, it got everywhere. We're talking, like, it's dripping off of me. Every few seconds, a driplet of, like, moisture just plops down wherever I am. Um, which is why I had to tape it up with pads. Thank goodness for pads, because the, the area is so large, I couldn't just use gauze and tape. I, just, I mean, I could, but, like, gauze and tape alone was just seeping through. Um... I guess, thank goodness in hindsight, I have dealt with uh, wound care in the past. If you are here from 20, like 13 to 2016, maybe 2012, um, Pearls and Daggers era, you will know I am no stranger to wound care. Um, and so I had a big stash of stuff, um, but I have just absolutely demolished it. Uh, and that's why I'm using pads now, which, uh, Boil alert works great. So if you ever have a wound or like um, like a big rash that you need to absorb stuff with, just take pads. You can cut them up if you need to get the right size. Like I have like three pads on my leg because it just wasn't big enough. Um, yeah, it works great. Just get some like waterproof tape from the band-aid section and just tape that bad boy up. Bet you didn't think I was gonna tell you that. New fashion statement is taped on period pads. I don't know what I'm gonna wear to this market. If I can get this to dry up a little more, because I don't think I'm gonna have an area to undress and bandage and clean my <laughs> rash. <laughs> can you imagine? I'm just picked, cause like the amount I have to like undress to get in these areas. If you walked into a public restroom and you saw someone with like, <laughs> oozing rash like half naked you would be concerned and you would probably feel very very uncomfortable so I'm truly hoping I'll have a day and a half to get this figured out <laughs> so upsetting okay how many boxes I think I need like right now let's see one two three four five six 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I need 16 boxes. This is not even all of them. I still have more in the lineup that I have to wait until I get more shipping paper and boxes. Now I forgot how many I said. Dang it. Did I say 16? Okay, I have 17 made, so let's start packing. I know I look disorganized, but I do feel like that this is pretty organized. And Asher is watching Bluey and eating snacks, so we'll see how long that lasts. This is Jessica from California. She bought a strawberry bookmark, which again is the video I had was a strawberry bookmark, so that's the majority of people got that one. Some people veered off and got something else. I had made so many strawberry bookmarks, and like everyone loves this one. It's like a bestseller at my market when I have it. Um, and yeah, all well that worked out in my favor, I guess, because I had enough. Asher came in here, like right before I put him in the chair to have some uh, snackies. He came in here and he took this miscellaneous jar of beads that I still need to sort and organize. And he just threw them everywhere. And so the ground has a ton of random beads and pointy things that are not safe for him. So I'm like, you gotta get out of here, bud. And he was not happy with me. Um, what am I doing? I am looking for some, oh, my tape gun. <laughs> We're gonna do a packed on YouTube. Done, Jessica, thank you. Next, who do we have? This one's going to Serenity in Honolulu. I had a couple Hawaii orders which is so strange to me. She ordered the strawberry bookmark and so <laughs> Sophie ordered the Sophie bookmark. This is my cherry bookmark. She is darling. I didn't even realize when I printed this off that her name is Sophie. That makes me laugh. <laughs> Was that my first bookmark order of Sophie? I think it might have been. How fitting. I know she probably, like, she saw the strawberry video and then looked up my other ones and was like, well, now I have to get the Sophie one. <laughs> That's how what I would do. If I was, like, interested in something and then I saw there was something named Brittany, I'm done. Monica, who lives in Arizona, bought a Night Court bookmark and a Strawberry bookmark. I put both of them in the same package because, like I said, it was running out of packaging and I really didn't think that they would mind. They also have an Asher who is done snacking, if you can't tell. I think I've mentioned this before. My Night Court bookmarks are like my one of my best sellers when I'm at markets. Not necessarily online, though. I think because people see the books they feel drawn to buy it whereas online i almost forgot to put the packing label in there um whereas online i don't know i feel like you have to be searching it out to want it i have orange kitty protecting all the boxes to the right you can't see them though i'll show you in a minute the last one we have from laura who's out oh, from cincinnati um, and that's like right near me. So she bought Night Court bookmark and then a strawberry bookmark. Whenever I see like Cincinnati, I'm always wondering if they found me from the Ryan Geist Brewery shows or if it's just luck. I also had a Columbus, Ohio one, which is also near me. Um, near enough <laughs> to me. It's where my sister lives. Where I was like, I wonder if they were following me from a show or something. But I do think it's probably just luck, or just by chance. Or I thought TikTok used to like put your stuff out to people that live near you or like in your area. I don't know if they still do that. So that's why I get surprised sometimes when I get orders from Hawaii and stuff. Asher and I will drop these off at the post office in the morning. That way I can know for sure if they all shipped okay because sometimes I had it happen once where I showed up at the post office and the barcode wasn't working so it always makes me nervous now shipping things 
to get the barcode has to be perfect. I feel like I waste a ton of, um, I'm Asher. Do you need that? Waste a ton of my shipping labor, thermal labors, labors, labels because it doesn't print out like well i don't know if it's my machine i have like a jaden one i got it used on poshmark so like the little sketch as it is um but it doesn't like almost one out of every three or one actually might be half the ratio might be half of them don't print right and i have to reprint and i waste so much it's quite annoying if this becomes a trend where i do a lot of orders i'll probably upgrade it all right oh my gosh the mess let me this is empty let me just confirm i have all my orders because i just kind of uh, <laughs> placed them around the room in free areas with the packing slip here's what we're dealing with package wise there's a bunch of them scattered on that orange kitty is keeping them safe oh my goodness what well, mama needs to pay more attention thank you for not throwing this on the ground bubba so I need to finish getting everything sorted for what I need to put in the truck and that's all I'm gonna do and then I'll have tomorrow like if I don't if I don't get everything it's fine it's not the end of the world because the show doesn't start till Saturday and I can always run back out there if I have to and I have um <laughs> almost said Asher's mom that's me I have Randy's mom coming and she's watching him while I go set up so I think we'll be fine I really just need to do the signage for this charm bar I'll kind of show you guys do not mind the mess it's literally like show week is a disaster it is this is going to be I think I'm just going to take this and use this as my charm bar so these are all my bookmarks people can customize the charms on and here's all my Stanley charms they can customize and those just need to be uh, packaged and sent out or package like I don't have these online these are coming to the show with me then I need to sort out my beads of what I want to take but again that's, that can be a Saturday thing so let me show you lastly real quick BB can you come to the bedroom with mama come here come on grab your sweeper laundry day um I got <laughs> this made it is a a table banner it is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be and like the the graphic is so much bigger it's it's like the quality is great they did great it was only like $29 that included shipping on Amazon <laughs> so I'll link them below for you um but the, it was supposed to be white and I don't know if you can tell but it's like a natural canvas and it was supposed to match my white banner the person that did this the no longer sells on Amazon so I couldn't just I wanted to get I thought I was getting this from them and if i mean clearly i did not um so now i feel like i need to get that one in this material now at some point <laughs> you can get a smaller size in this in this fyi it was the same price i'm like well i might as well get like the bigger one um, i do regret that i do regret that but that's something that is fine i'm gonna keep it it's really cute um but yeah that's the new the new table banner i'm gonna have two tables now okay and now i'm gonna go pack stuff up. So I'll see you tomorrow for a setup. Bye! Hi. It is show morning, but I'm ending the vlog on show morning. Normally I start the vlog on show morning, which I will. It will be my market vlog, but I needed to end it. Um, updates. Things are still not going well with me. I have been up in the morning getting orders packed. I have my last, hopefully last batch of orders to be shipped out this morning. So I need to run to the post office before I go to the market. Um, market doesn't start till 11. So we're good on time. It is like nine right now. I say that as I'm like completely not ready. I've already done, I actually should be doing some um, fulfilling as I talk to you. I've already done my, I don't know what I was saying there. I have been up all morning looking at Pinterest to see what to wear because I obviously still have to wrap myself in gauze and somehow figure out how to fix that during the show every like probably three hours <laughs> and so I need to wear something baggy we're talking sweatpants baggy and how am I going to look cute in a sweatsuit? Like, I have to be baggy on the top and bottom because if you don't remember, it is 
all down my arm and all down my thigh. So we are going to look rough. My thing is like, so I'm wearing black, so I have to wear dark colors because when it oozes through my outfit, I don't want it to be visible. <laughs> so my booth is so bright and colorful and cute. And then people are gonna be like, oh, so like mesmerized looking around the colors. And then I'm gonna be lurking in the corner like a little creature. <laughs> so I, I don't know, I need to figure out how to make it cute. I found some Pinterest. It's just gonna look really athletic, casual which is not the vibe I was gonna go for, but you know, it's what we have to work with. So that's fun. Market day is off to a great start here. Um, okay, I'm gonna finish packing. I got so many orders again. So thank you if any of you are them. Um, they were TikTok, which normally I don't get. Like if you're watching this, you're not normally on my TikTok. I did get one Etsy order from Kylie. But it wasn't like a share and save, which is where I put my link down. So I think she's just an Etsy person, um, which is also awesome. So I'm going to end you. Wishing you luck. Next video will be market vlog. So I will see you.